if you've ever watched a TV show about hackers like Mr. Robot, or if you've ever overheard IT or networking people talking, maybe you've heard the term subnet. What is a subnet? So in computer networking, each device gets assigned an IP address. The IP address is divided into two main parts, the host address and the network address. So the host address uniquely identifies devices within a network, and the network address uniquely identifies devices of different networks. And subnetting, or subnetworking, is basically just about taking the network address portion and dividing it into smaller, more manageable components. So we're talking about taking a single network of devices working together and dividing it into subnetworks, usually focused on related tasks. And by being able to focus individually on these subnetworks, engineers can more easily improve performance and think about things like isolating security issues. So what are we looking at here? Well, these are some basic subnet divisions you might see in a network running entirely on cloud services like AWS or Azure or Google Cloud. Here, I'm just using AWS examples because that's what I'm familiar with. So we've got a public subnet. This is the portion of the networking which contains incoming traffic from an external or public internet source. So anytime you're using a website and the JavaScript that's powering that website reaches out to a server API, for some data, it's gonna hit this public subnet first. Then we've got a private subnet. This will contain all of the traffic which is not accessible to the public. So here we've got e which will initialize individual EC2 instances based on incoming requests. And EC2 is, is basically just Amazon's version of a virtual server running in the cloud. And we have Amazon's virtual gateway, which is used to basically make sure anything inside of that private subnet can outwardly connect to any services in other subnets, but anything outside of the subnet cannot initiate a connection inward. And we've also got the database subnet, which contains all the traffic associated with data storage. So in AWS land, this is your S3, simple storage, uh, images, links, videos, and you've also got your RDS databases like Postgres or Mongo or whatever you want to spin up in the cloud.